Oh, well, how's it going tonight there, YouTube? You guys hear that? Isn't it nice to hear the birds chirping for a change instead of raining and snowing and blowing and carrying on and just being miserable? That kind of plays into why there's been no videos lately, and of course I want to apologize to all you guys for not posting any videos for the last little bit. I've just been, uh, busy busy all the time, and all work and no play, but nothing much has really changed up here. I got, you know, still the two trucks, of course, the two Z71s. I got one for play and one for work. This one needs work before we can play, but so the white trucks are doing all the work. I picked up some scrap metal tonight, so we might have a scrap metal video here coming up soon. Boy, isn't that sun nice? Might have some scrap metal to take in here soon. And I haven't even looked at that 7810 since I shot the last movie clip here for our last video. Here she sits. Haven't done the body work, haven't done nothing. Haven't had another time, been working solid. It's also that kind of time of year for us. Uh, it's our kind of year end crunch at Madden right now, so I've been pulling a lot of salaries, a lot of overtime and whatnot. But you know, hey. Actually, a little bit of cash helps put uh, some YouTube videos together for you guys, so... Anyway, I've just been busy, and my cousin had messaged me last night saying that there's a parcel for us in the P.O. box. I haven't even checked the P.O. box in like three weeks. But, that doesn't mean if you guys want to send something in, I won't get it. Me and my cousin share the P.O. box, so one of us usually goes at least once a week. But we do have a uh, unboxing video to do here. I just put a piece of green tape over their address. I don't want to share that on YouTube. And uh, I'll go grab the case trap or knife and we'll open that up. But if any of you guys want to send something into the P.O. box here, or sorry, the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube, we will uh, give you a big shout out. And uh, you always have a lineup, or sorry, a spot in the lineup here in the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube. And every time I make a video, I usually put a shot of that in towards the ending. And, uh, I usually always post the address in there, and the address is if you want to send something in, and we have it right on here World Famous Toy Collection. So there you go, it's official World Famous Toy Collection. I like that. Anyway, I'll go grab the, the uh, case trapper knife for your boys, and we'll uh, open her up. So this package comes to us from Rick Benkert from Saginaw, Michigan. We have it right on there World Famous Toy Collection. I think that's going to be the title of our video here, too. So here, I'll, uh, got the case trapper knife here, and we'll open her up. I really gotta sharpen this knife here at some time, too. That might be another YouTube video if you guys had to sharpen a pocket knife. Alrighty. Okay, we've got a note here. Says Curtis, enjoy your YouTube videos. Keep keep up. They are interesting for your collection. KSIH 440 quad track, John Deere 8320R, John Deere 4430, and a Farmall 100. Rick Ben Kurt, second on mission. Well, thank you so much for sending that in. Really do appreciate it. And of course, as always, if anyone sends something to the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube, we'll do a big shout out for you. I'm not sure if Rick has a YouTube channel or not. And here we go. We got the little Pharma 100 here. I'll pop it out of the bag here. Little Pharma 100. There's the 440 quad track, of course. Little 4430. And of course the 8320R. You've got a hat in here as well. Ooh, check that out. It's a vintage John Deere cap, I believe. That's a sweet little snapback cap. I like the I like these. I had a I had a few of these. I'm just not sure where they went to right now. Well that's cool. I think I'll add that on the shelf as well. 
I have added Rick's tractors to the world famous toy collection here. We've got, I save all the, any notes you guys sent in with that as well, I save them. See, so check that out. The line is coming together very, very, very nicely. And I'm absolutely, I couldn't thank you guys enough for sending it, anything into the greatest farm toy collection. Of course, if anybody wants to, the P.O. box address in the description box down below. And I'll do you guys a shout out, shout out your YouTube channel. And uh, you guys always have a line up, or a spot, I've done it again. You guys always have a spot in the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube, and every time I make a video, you will see it in a video. So they're all they're all here, and uh, you've got just a fantastic collection started here. And of course, this is a, a collection I started separate from my personal collection, out of fan mail that you guys have all sent in to me. And it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, I also wanted to make a quick little announcement that, uh, well maybe a little hint hint here, that I might actually have a contest coming up here soon. I'm just not quite sure how it's going to all flow together. It may involve one of my fans' farm toys and my restoration skills, so I'm thinking about putting a little contest together in the winter. I'll uh, restore or customize one of their farm toys and I'll send it back to you and you can always have one in your collection. So why don't you guys give me some feedback on that and let me know what you guys think. And of course, there's, uh, we're going to do the Cockshot 30 giveaway here still. If I reach 3,000 subscribers by May 30, which is... It's coming up pretty quick. I need you guys' help to get there. But if I do get there, I'm going to do the Coxa 30 build paint, of course, and then I'll give it away to one of you guys. And I do think I'll be make, making another trip down to Jolly's here, and I think I'm, I might pick myself up another kit. I'm looking at doing a series. I might pick up one of the binder kits that Nick has, and I'll show you guys how to put that together and whatnot. I think a binder would look kind of neat behind the little W4 kit that we got around this time last year at Nick's open house there. Anyway, I'll get this video edited up for you guys, and as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel and whatnot, and we'll, excuse me, I will see you guys on the next video.